Sup guys? All right, we're gonna be learning about how to draw the business cycle today. And I've got my trusty Star Wars pen, so we're ready to go. Um, it's a very basic and simple diagram, but it's really crucial um, that you don't get mixed up with demand and supply or the PPF model, uh, because these two sides get labeled differently than those diagrams. With the business cycle, we label this side uh, as time. Uh, so this is the time uh, that that transpires over a series of years or, or months. Um, and then on this side, we record our GDP uh, or our rate of economic growth. Um, and so we're looking at how, uh, really our output, how much output do we have throughout a year or throughout 10 years or throughout 100 years. And uh, now with the business cycle, there is always a long-term line uh, that's, just, that's steadily increasing and it usually gets drawn uh, with dots. Um, and this is a long-term uh, trend of what our economy should be. Uh, it's called potential GDP. Uh, with the amount of resources that we have as a country and the amount of labor and technology we have, this is the amount of output we should be uh, creating uh, over a period of time. And as time goes on, we uh, our industries expand, we have more immigration coming in, we discover new resources. So naturally, the amount that we create, the amount of GDP, the amount of output uh, that we create over the years will steadily increase. And years down the line, we'll be able to make far more than we could uh, back, to, say, 20, 30 years ago. Uh, remember, GDP is your gross domestic product. So it's the entire amount of stuff that we make in a year, goods and services. So we, ex we believe that that's going to be steadily growing um, throughout the year. And that's what it should be. If we are maxing everything out at its highest potential, that's what it should look like. However, in reality, in our economy, we have ups and downs. We have times where we go far beyond what's expected and what we should really be doing. Um, it, we, we, we go too far, um, and that's dangerous usually when we're expanding too quickly. Uh, we end up going into booms and we our prices inflate. Um, uh, dangerously and, and they end up crashing down the line um, and then at other times we operate in a much lower amount than we should be uh, and we, we aren't maximizing what we should be so this, this goes up and down and so it gets recorded like this we have a line that constantly is going up and then down and then it goes up and then it goes down again um, so whenever we are whenever we are up the top and things are going incredibly well, we have a boom. All right. Now this is where we uh, where we go beyond our potential. Um, so our potential for the year um, is say 1.7 trillion, and we go beyond that. And that might be because of foreign investment. Uh, that might be because of uh, Im increased immigration, um, or it just might be because there's a lot of money in the economy. And there's this gap. Uh, between here and here that is bigger than our potential and it won't last. Um, we shouldn't be creating so much. Uh, and what happens generally in a boom is we prices inflate, things become more expensive, we're spending huge amounts of money on imports, so our CAD gets worse. Um, but eventually it all wears off because um, all those big projects that funded the boom um, eventually finish. We, we create all the buildings that we were planning on creating and then businesses hesitate they know that things aren't as good as they are and so they stop to invest and this is when we start to see a decline a leveling off of prices and so the decline is generally called a recession um, or a contraction um, or a downswing and so when there's a recession prices level off things calm down a little bit, but generally things start to go into a negative place where we start moving to a trough. Um, the key thing to remember is that a, an, an official recession is only recorded uh, when we have two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth. Um, so a quarter is every three months, so when the records come out saying we've had negative growth for two quarters, we're officially in a recession. Um, then that slowly continues to de decline, people are spending less, people get laid off jobs, um, less investment and eventually we end up in a trough where we are now operating below um, what we could be, what our potential is. 
Um, and a trough is generally quite a tough time. People are out of jobs, the income's low, consumer and business confidence is low, people are spending far less money. Um, but after a while, innovation kicks in, people come up with new ideas, uh, people invest in some new projects and business starts to pick up again, people start to invest again. And this is called um, an expansion or an upswing. Um, and this is when things start to pick up again. And generally what will happen is that expansion will move us back into a boom where we go above our output and the cycle continues. Uh, what the government will do, and we'll look at this later on, is the government implements measures to try and shrink these gaps so that, um, so that the levels are far, uh, far less extreme. Um, but that's the business cycle. So key thing to remember is GDP is on this side and time is on this side. Um, you have your long-term potential, which is steady and is what it should ideally be. But in reality, we go above what's expected and then we go below what's expected.